a Nalandian, a dashing right-hand batsman and a brilliant fielder, Mr. Rashan Mahanama is best remembered for his world record second wicket partnership of 576 with Sanaja Surya in a test match against India at the Premadas Stadium in 1997. He was a key member of Sri Lanka's World Cup winning team in 1996. Thereafter, he was part of the elite panel of ICC match referees for 12 years. With his distinguished career in cricket, he has brought great recognition to our country and has been an inspiration to many young cricketers. Sir, we are very grateful to you for your presence this evening at the time which your family needs you to be with them during this very difficult time. I now have the honor of inviting our chief guest, Mr. Rashan Mahanama, to speak a few words. Dr. Harsha Alas, Chairman, Gateway Colleges, members of the staff, distinguished guests, students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. I must confess that I am at ease at the crease than saying my piece on occasions like these. When I told my father that I can play in front of 100,000 people like what we did during the World Cup semifinals in 1996, but I do not like to stand in front of people and deliver speeches. He said, son, that's your obligation. And before you start a speech, you could say what I just said now. And that's just a tribute to him. I lost him about a week ago. He was my hero. And uh, that's just a tribute to him. When Harsha Iyya, I'm sure I can afford to call you Harsha Iyya, we go back a long way, contacted me about a month ago. I said I will try my level best unless something unforeseen happens. We had another tragedy a couple of days ago. Despite all that, I just thought, because we go back a long way, I cannot let down Harashaya and the students of Gateway Colleges. And my presence today is important. I also must tell you, Harshaya, that I'm pleased that you all have refrained from inviting politicians for sporting awards. No offense to anyone. <clears throat> who's connected to a politician or who comes from a politi political background, if, the, if anyone's here in the audience. That's my personal view. Sadly, these politicians of our generation does not command any respect. And I think we all should stand to show that to them in no uncertain terms. A politician recently had said that the fellow cricketers are not fit enough. But I look back, reflect, and I thought to myself, how many of the politicians are fit enough to be in parliament? Now I'm faced with a big problem, to deliver a speech. I think we should leave it for the politicians who are quite good at that. But like I mentioned before, I do have an obligation towards the students, 
the future kids of our country and I would like to share some of the things that I felt that was important for me to build a career and also to guide my children as well. In the modern world, we want only winners. We don't want quitters. Sadly, my nephew decided to give up. We would have failed, but I want to tell all the students, you should never give up in life. Everyone should be blessed and make the most of the opportunity that we have got. There will be challenges, there will be obstacles. But to face with courage, commitment and dedication towards achieving our goals. Every kid, every human being has a talent. As parents, teachers, I think it's our duty to encourage these kids to enhance the hidden talents and the talents that they've got. I would like to share some of the experiences that some of the people who have ended up as winners in the recent past. A candidate for a news broadcaster's position was rejected because they felt that his voice was not good enough and also they felt that his name was too long. He ended up as Amitabh Bachchan. He's a winner. After one performance, a singer was told that he needs to go back and start or keep driving trucks. And he went on to become Elvis Presley, king of rock and roll. At the age of four, Due to an illness, her left leg was paralyzed. She had a brace. She wore until she was nine. She took the brace off, started running at the age of 13. She failed miserably, and she is none other than Wilma Rudolph, who went on to win three Olympic gold medals. A school teacher scolded a boy for not being able to solve simple problems. However, his mother believed in him, helped him, and he went on to become Albert Einstein. I told Harsha Iyer that I'm going to mention this as well. My father always felt that I should not mention that, but I just said, I'm not going to bring, bring any disrespect to my school. I'm a proud Nalandian. We have had four generations attending Nalanda, and if my grandson attends or goes to Nalanda, it will be the fifth generation. At the age of 14, when I was selected to play for the school under 19 team, my own friends, my own colleagues thought that I was not good enough to represent my school. They were hanging white flags. They were 
there were anonymous letters that were going around. We had eternal problems at home. My mother and father were fighting because my mother's people came from a royal college and she felt that I could get into royal at any stage. I could not go to school for about eight to nine months. But my father said, and I have to say this in Sinhalese, That's a lifelong lesson for me. Looking at me, you ladies and gentlemen, and also budding sports men and women might think that I'm soft, but I think in life, you need to be strong inside and not outwardly. I want all sportsmen, boys, girls, to remember nothing comes easy in life. You have to do everything possible and you have to maintain honesty. You need to maintain integrity. We live in an era, even in the sport that I passionately love, People look at shortcuts in terms of making a quick buck, but that's not what sport teaches. You need to be disciplined. Anyone who's involved in a team sport needs to obey team rules, needs to follow team ethics, and sport teachers a lot of good things and it certainly teaches how to accept defeat and also how to handle yourself when you are successful. For these sports boys, girls, I must tell you that at all times you need to have a target, you need to work hard towards achieving your goals, you need to develop leadership skills, also you need to know a bit about the history of the sport that you are involved with and it's quite important. Also, it's very important that we produce thinking sports people. It's important that you manage your studies and sports because at any point you should not sacrifice your studies, but it's all about managing your academic career, as well as sports. I also thought that if there are any coaches here, that I need to leave a, a thought or two behind. I think the modern day coaches does not set a good example. It's not at winning at any cost. It is how you produce players, sportsmen and women to play the sport that they are involved with in the true spirit. Winning and losing is part of sport. You should not look at social status of parents. You should not seek favors from parents, but you should help and guide the students to excel 
in the sport that they have chosen and also to work towards achieving their goals. For parents, I think for every parent, your child is the best. Like I mentioned before, every kid has a talent and it's our responsibility to encourage them to enhance that talent, talent and please do not try to live your dreams through them. There will be instances where they will complain about coaches, there will be instances where they will complain about teachers, principal, and so on. But I think what you should encourage your kids is to focus on what they can control and not what they cannot control. I want to leave a thought. A winner is not someone who never fails, but someone who never quits. Quit. I congratulate the winners, but let me tell all of you that in sports, what matters is how you participate and not whether you won or lost. I wish to thank the organizing committee for inviting me as the chief guest this evening. And before I conclude, I want to leave a cricketing thought behind. When the great scorer comes to write against your name, he writes not whether you won or lost, but he writes how you played the game. <laughs>